What is up? Welcome. Everyone can get ready to go into their next song, um, tune up and do all of that stuff. And I will just say that uh, they're on tour through the end of May. They're playing a show tonight at Shuba's in Chicago. So if you're in or around the area, check it out. And you can get their latest release, Patience, which is out now. And uh, why don't you just go into that next song and then we'll chat after.
Amazing in here, wicked solo on that one, man. Um, would you talk to me a little bit about there was some like water noise in that one, and I know that you have some other samples going on with yeah, like sure. natural sounds. <laughs> would you just talk about maybe uh, the importance of nature to you, or as a muse, or something like that? So um, the first song we played was called Wandra because yeah. that's the title track to my debut album Wandra, and I wrote that on a trip I did from Alaska all the way down to Mexico. Yeah. And I was on the road for 11 months and basically always in nature because I was living on a school bus that we converted. Yeah. And I had my piano and my guitar on board and literally just wrote all of the songs in nature. So that really meant a lot to me. Mm. Um, in front of the Grand Canyon or in the jungle in Mexico or in Alaska surrounded by mountains and... I just really wanted to um, transport the feeling that I had in these like grand like landscapes, yeah. and that's why I recorded some nature sounds and put them in my songs. And okay, I love cool. to do that live also because then people can kind of like close their eyes and imagine it with me to yeah. be in nature. Yeah, and and that puts them in that place in such a I don't know such a cool way, you know, <laughs> like they they're kind of there with you in that experience, right? And that's what uh, that was turned into the documentary as well, right? That trip, that exactly, eleven yeah. months, was that the goal going into it, like that it was going to be filmed, or, or is that kind of something that came about naturally? So what happened was my ex-boyfriend and me were living in Berlin and we weren't really happy anymore. So we wanted to go traveling. It was kind of a spontaneous idea, and I mean, I'm a musician, so I was not very happy in that means you're not very inspired either yeah. and I did plan to go on this trip to get inspiration for an album and we did take the cameras and filmed everything to hope to get something out of it but we still 
went for the sake of traveling. And if okay. I wouldn't have come up with any songs, then there wouldn't that have been, been an fine. album. And yeah. if I wouldn't have yeah. like shot cool things or <laughs> had cool experiences, then there wouldn't have been a movie either. Yeah, like, like, right, we, right. We did hope that it would happen, and it did. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I love the... I haven't seen it. I need to see the documentary, <laughs> but I love watching the like fast forward of you building the bus. It's crazy. I just painted my bathroom, and it took me like two whole days. <laughs> like, damn, building that bus has got to be weeks of, yeah, of work to make it into a home. But yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, thanks, Sharon. And you can go into your next song. Cool. I have some nature sounds for you here. Yeah, great. <laughs> yes. Mowgli. 
so this is your first proper U.S. tour, and it's called the Mirrors Tour. Is that a is that a specific thing or just a name <laughs> you chose? I mean, no, is that a reference to something? Okay, no, yeah, it yeah. It was an idea um, because I wrote one song that's called Mirror that's yeah. going to be on my upcoming album. Okay. And the thing is, in between albums, people don't really do tours, but I yeah. felt like I had something to say, and I felt like I wanted to share these songs, and I had an EP. So um, I called it the Mirrors Tour, actually, because if you look into a mirror, um, it's kind of looking into your past and also at yourself, how you are right now, and also like a glimpse into the future. Mm. And that's what my tour is, because we're playing a lot of the old songs for the last time, because when I release an album, then it's going to be an album tour. Yeah. So it's kind of like reminiscing to the old tours, Cool. And then also we're playing the EP song, so like who I am right now. And we're also playing a couple new songs, actually, that are not released yet. So, so it's like an outlook. Yeah. And yeah, that's why I wanted to call it the Mirrors Tour, because kind of it's just a mirror of who I am at the moment, really. Sure. And I've read some themes of how, I mean, even just us talking about nature as a muse, and then this more like introspective introspective thing that's going on in patients a, li a little more like finding inspiration from yourself i just yeah do you have anything more to say on that or <laughs> yeah, more well, more clearly than i am <laughs> well, when i came back home um i had this like constant inspiration for 11 months around me and yeah. i didn't really want to top that uh, i was really happy to come home and to like have some time for myself sure. and I just tried to do something really different this time. I live in Berlin, so the sound is a bit more urban and electronic, as you can hear. Yeah. And also, uh, I just went into the studio and started from scratch. So I call it to just like let out what's already inside of me instead mm. of getting inspired by something else, by my surroundings, because I think that's also like really important to see like what's already in here. Yeah, totally. And I guess like there's a weird pressure maybe like, well, now I have to build a boat and take a <laughs> boat trip or some like a space journey is all that's <laughs> left, you know? So like... Yeah. Yeah, I finding. Don't think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably does make sense. <laughs> cool. All right. Yeah. Um, go into your next song when you're cool. ready. This is another life. Thank you. 
Watching Mowgli on Audio Tree Live. Before we get ready to go into the last one, I know that you were part of the Key Change Initiative um, mm -hmm. a while back, which is now concluded to push for 50-50 gender equality in festivals mostly, or just yeah, like that's during, mostly about yeah, festivals, yeah, okay. Which I on the website is crazy that it's only a 26 percent, or it was only 26 percent, and then 10 percent as headliners. It's awful. Anyway, um, I'm just curious. Uh, yeah, like. Why is that so important to you, and what are you doing now, or what would you like to be doing, I don't know, to keep pushing for, like, female empowerment in music and at festivals? Um, well, first and foremost, I'm a woman, so that's why it's important yeah, to me. And right. you can see in the band, we're 50-50. That was really important to me. I actually um, played my first tour as a trio. Martha wasn't, back, um, wasn't part of our team back then, because I didn't find someone uh, who could do what she does and yeah. is a woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, well, it's important to me. If I imagine I play a concert and then um, people see Martha and me playing up there and you have little girls attending the concerts. Also, I had a little girl uh, two nights ago, actually, like sitting in front of it. And I just um, I just want them to see that it's possible to be a musician and a woman. And yeah. um, the sad thing is that it's still not a normal thing. And you still, especially also like in engineering and totally. like front of house and technicians and like, all parts of the music industry it's still like a long way to go and i just want to show people that it's possible mm. and that's why female empowerment is like a topic for me in general not just in music i just try to make myself as vulnerable as possible um in my music and also like in interviews i just share a lot with people i share that i had depression i share that i have struggles also and i share that i overcome them because i share them actually because as soon as you make yourself vulnerable, that's a really brave thing to do. And it's sometimes really hard. And you always get rewarded. So yeah. whenever you share your feelings with someone, they probably will understand you better afterwards. And we need more empathy in the world. And that's why I keep doing this, to show people that being brave is really rewarding. Because then people come up to me after concerts and they thank me for being vulnerable because that makes them feel better. Yes. And then that makes me feel better. And then we have like so much positivity in the world. So... I think the most important thing for me is to just to just show that we can do whatever we want to really. I love that. Like <laughs> especially talking about things that are I don't know like behind the scenes um depression or something that's just not talked about openly and it's not talk it doesn't have to be talked about like so tragically all the time but just letting people know who also struggle with this hey like I'm a human person and I'm up here and I experience this allows them to have more openness and empathy for their own experience exactly. saying like if that person does it and you're an amazing musician and on stage and all that stuff you know maybe I can transcend that as well so and yeah. I got help um, through saying I need help yeah you know, I got through this because I said I need help and I think especially with social media and with a lot of celebrities it's always about being perfect yeah. or like having the perfect life and I just really want to share that it's not perfect all the time because no one has a perfect life yeah cool all right yeah <laughs> thanks for sharing you can go into that last one when you're ready and yeah Martha you are amazing <laughs> she is thanks. I mean, she plays all the instruments <laughs> yeah I mean you're all
you're watching Audio Tree Live. We've been in the studio with Mowgli. You can check them out on tour through the end of May. They're playing a show tonight at Shuba's in Chicago. And the latest release, Patience, is out now. Thank you so much for performing Thank for us. Thank you for having us. Yeah. We had a really good time. Thanks Thank to you. awesome people in the studio and sound engineers, camera and lighting crew for making it look beautiful, and live stream <laughs> operators. Thanks to everyone for watching. You can support the band by downloading or streaming the session when it comes out in a couple of weeks and send a shout by social media to us or them if you just want to connect. From all of us here at the Audio Tree Studios, thanks for tuning in. Goodbye. Hell yeah. <laughs> all right, so you guys want to do it for real now?